Hi, these comments are for RR, and I am Michael from OTCOnlineTOEFLCourse.com. So Merry Christmas to you and your family. We got three more days to the big day, and I hope that you and your family have a happy, uh, happy and jolly New Year 2021. And I'm looking at the essay right now. So, uh, and also when we look at the rubrics, I feel pretty confident that you are almost at a five, 4.5 to five, 28 points out of 30. Now, what I want to do now is I'm going to read it over. And if I don't make any corrections at all, I'll give you 30. I've been looking for the perfect writing score for the last two weeks. Nobody has given it to me yet, right? I've had a lot of high scores like what you've been doing, but nothing which is 30 out of 30. Here we go. The reading talks about three ways to face the decline of the terea toxifolia, and in the lecture, the professor cast doubt on these misconceptions. You've been saying cast doubt in, 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 for three practice tests in a row, and you finally got the preposition correct. Yes, <coughs> and, <coughs> and that goes to show you how stubborn grammar and writing is. Just because I tell you the correct way to do something doesn't mean you're gonna do it on the next speaking or writing practice test, but if I tell you five or six times in a row, you'll get it, and you did. So first of all, the author of the reading notes that reestablishing Terea to the same location in which it grew up for a long time would be beneficial since it used to be found in the north of Florida, which has a very <coughs> specific <coughs> microclimate <coughs> beneficial for the Terea tree. You might say something like that to kind of give us some context here. This claim is challenged by the author who suggests that the microclimate in the northern, <coughs> excuse me, in the northern part of Ford has completely changed because of the global warming increasing temperatures. I would just say because of global warming. I mean, that means increasing temperatures, right? As a result, the Terea will not survive in this area. Okay, second of all, the writer posits that another option is to move the Terea to forest further in the north. No, farther. Yeah, be careful. Farther means distance. Why? Because you say far. For example, he hit the, he hit the uh, ball far over the fence or he hit the ball farther than any other player that day. So if you say further, it kind of means more. So the lecture went on further than the students anticipated, so I'm using further to talk about more. So farther means distance, further means more, kind of quantity of something. In addition, the article states that some scientists consider that The Tereas were fostered in areas farther in the north. Fostered or forested? I would probably say forested in areas farther in the north. Moving to another location in one practice named assisted location will improve the possibilities of the Torea to survive. The lecturer, on the other hand, comments that assisted migration can lead to a catastrophe. Maybe similar to what? I'm going to change it to that. It led to a catastrophe similar to what happened with the black locust tree spreading at a fast speed and destroying <coughs> the ecosystems which were in danger of extinction. 
Okay. Third of all, the author of the reading reports that the last option to safely maintain the Terrain Research Centers, the last option, oh, you forgot your verb, in the dependent clause is, the last option is to safely maintain the Torea in research centers since needs and saplings can be transported from the wild to a monitored environment in which a monitored environment no which will be feasible for scientists to protect the species so whenever I think about in which versus which I usually think that in <coughs> in which also has the meaning of where. For example, I went to Los Angeles where, I went to Los Angeles in which I bought a new purse for my wife or something. But in this case, if you say a monitored environment where will be feasible, I don't think that fits there. You're using this as an adjective clause connector. The best word here is which with no n. Contrastingly, in the lecture, the speaker considers that the population of this tree is not enough to survive in research centers since these centers are not capable of conserving a wide range of the terrea, which in these circumstances are not capable of face diseases. And this word I'm not quite sure about what you're trying to say there. Yeah, I'm not going higher, right? If anything, I might go a little bit lower. Maybe go down to 26. I'm going to say maybe 26 points out of 30. So you had some minor kind of language use issues in there. However, your organization is very strong. I liked I like how you have a compound sentence in the first paragraph that links the main point from the reading and the lecture. I like how you're using present tense reporting verbs to explain the information from the reading and the listening passages, right? Your transition words, first of all, second of all, uh, and uh, third of all, these words are effective in helping show the organization of your ideas. And finally, I mean, you put reading one with listening one in one paragraph, then you put uh, reading point two along with listening point two in the next paragraph, and finally, you ended with reading point three along with listening point three. So you have a nice, coherent organization and mostly complete, mostly accurate. So that's why I'm going to give you 26 points uh, on this practice test. Um, listening to your... Uh, this is your TOEFL Integrated Speaking Task number four, Listening Speaking Academic. And this is, I think, the 14th Integrated Speaking Practice Test number four. You're, you're really focused on the listening part. The listening can be really tough. So a lot of students, they can't get the most important points from the lecture, so they don't have the complete notes to work from, so then they don't fully kind of respond to the speaking task and therefore they score lower. All right, so let's see how you did on this practice test. talks about defense mechanism, which are used for people when they are passing through a bad situation, and provides two examples about a woman who has lost her dog. To begin with, a professor explains that the first mechanism is fantasy, which uses imagination. For example, the woman can invent a happy story about the dog being found for a loving family who feed him. Moreover, the professor mentioned that another mechanism is sublimination, which means turning negative emotion into something positive. For example, a woman can start an academy to train dogs, avoiding other families to pass through the same situation. Redirecting negative emotion into something positive is really beneficial for people that are suffering for a loss. These two examples explain how defense mechanisms work. Okay, so uh, I think you are between 2.5 and 3. Can I give you 23? I think that your goal is to get at least 23. Can you get there? Let's listen to it one more time. I'm going to see you're probably between about 20 and 21 points. Let's listen to it one more time. In the lecture, the professor talks about defense mechanism. 
He talks about defense mechanisms. Defense mechanisms. You need to say those kind of together. Defense mechanisms. Service for people when they are passing through a bad situation. When they are passing through or when they are experiencing a bad situation. I provides two example about a woman who has lost her dog. To begin with, a professor... And she illustrates these concepts through an example of a woman who lost her dog. The woman who lost her dog sounds like one example, but maybe through the example, the professor illustrates these two concepts. Is that what you're trying to say? I explain that the first mechanism is fantasy, which uses imagination. Which uses, uses... For example, the woman can invent a happy story about the dog being found for a loving family who feed him. Moreover, the professor mentioned... So, who found by a family who is compatible with the pet, maybe, you might say. I would probably use compatible is probably better than fit. That another mechanism is sublimination, which means tuning... Another mechanism illustrated through the example is sublimination. Negative emotion into something positive. For example, the woman can start an academy to train dogs, avoiding other families to pass through the same situation. To pass. To pass through. Redirecting negative emotion into something positive is really beneficial for people that are suffering for a loss. According to the speaker. These two examples explain how defense mechanisms work. Okay, you could probably do a little bit better with the topic development, make, including more voice markers in there, which acknowledges the information is coming from the professor. That might help. I think you had some delivery issues with certain sounds and maybe one or two language issues. So your score here, uh, I'm going to put you at about 20 to 21 points out of 30 or just below the 3.0 threshold. You must improve your delivery if you want to score higher. And I know you're working hard on this, by the way. I acknowledge that. 